What's up, everybody? Uh, back at it again with the crew tonight. Um, we got a pretty special Once review. More. <laughs> Once more again. Yep. Uh, our climaxer dude did, did pretty well, so I said, screw it. Why not? Let's just do it again. Uh, tonight, we got a pretty big one. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably one of the most anticipated film of the year for a lot of people, mm -hmm. um, especially after Jordan Peele's success with Get Out. Um, obviously, it's Us. Uh, we went to go see Us, and um, I guess before we start getting into everything, um, just some precursors. We're going to talk about the film in a non-spoiler way for a good like 10 or 15 minutes probably. Um, and then after that, we're going to get into all the spoilers and all the good stuff and all the, you know, all that good shit. So, um, and also one thing before we start giving our thoughts on this is that the hype, the hype behind this film is just like unfathomable. Oh like, yeah. Yeah. Like honestly, I would compare the hype behind this film to like something like Black Panther to where almost everybody kind of already validates the film and already loves it before it's even out already. Yeah. And, you know, that's not the film's fault. Um, that's just, you know, has to do with, you know, critics and has to do with, um, you know, just people just generally being excited for the film. It just kind of happens that way. But just thought I'd, you know, just let everybody know that that is a fact. Just that that's a fact regarding around his film is that people just really kind of already seem to have a bias to really love this film. Yes. So before we get into our thoughts, this is, you know, us trying to be as honest as possible, as objective as possible, uh, just trying to give you guys something, you know, more more authentic. So, um, all right, with that out of the way, let's, go, let's, let's get into our thoughts. I guess I'll start first, and I'll just say that I thought this film was fine, but it definitely did not blow me away and especially in regards to how critics are talking about it. Oh, yeah. Uh, this film just didn't live up to the hype for me. Um, There's a lot of things about it that really kind of frustrated me when I was watching it. And um, I guess with that said, uh, does anybody else want to chime in? or Don't go watch this film with the hype in mind. I mean, that's why we're talking about the hype behind it. Because if you go in watching this film with all the hype you're gonna be disappointed yeah. but maybe if you go in without the hype because personally i didn't go in with the hype i kind of went in with the hype yeah I think that might have been yeah part of it, honestly mm -hmm. i enjoyed it because i didn't go in with the hype i'm not saying it's great i'm not saying it blew my mind but i didn't think it was that terrible i mean i didn't think it was terrible at all yeah i didn't think it was terrible but like here's the thing like i know about the hype but for those who know my channel like y'all know that i definitely wasn't the hugest fan of get out I mean, I have a whole video explaining why I just don't think that movie is as great um, as critics said it was. And um, so that being said, like, I didn't go into this thinking that it was going to be great. I actually went into this, you know, more of like as a skeptic because, you know, even though the, the critics were praising this one, the critics really highly praised Get Out too, obviously. So I wasn't going into this really expecting that what the critics were saying was actually accurate. But I was still going into this hoping that it was going to be, you know, hopefully better than Get Out. And I think it, you know, arguably is a little bit better than Get Out. I mean, it doesn't have that, it doesn't have nearly as much like in your face, like political themes to kind of throw at you. Um, but there is stuff, you know, laying in this film that you can read into. And, um, you know, Eric, I'm sorry, I guess I didn't, I didn't give you enough time. Did, did you want to say something or add anything to that? Uh, what's add anything to what exactly? Or, or you know I what? mean, I just have like so just many... yeah. Just give your general thoughts real quick. Don't, don't just don't don't bother about adding anything. Just just general thoughts. What do you think? I feel like I you know okay. So since we were already talking about the yeah. hype, I don't well that's I didn't go into this movie with like mammoth expectations. I didn't think I was gonna love this movie honestly. Yeah. I just went in with moderate expectations. Like okay, people are liking this movie. People are saying good things about this movie. <sighs> This movie didn't work a lot in a lot of ways for me, just as a film, because I I went into it, and the first like like the first act of the movie, I was hooked. I was like, wow, I am oh, insane. Yeah. I, Definitely, I love, same for me. Loving this, same yeah. for me. And then the second act, I'm just like, wow, I really am not engaged in feeling what this movie wants me to feel like at all. I completely agree. And then the third act, I was like, okay, now I guess I'm kind of in it again. 
Sort of. I think yeah. me. I think I think yeah. We're on the same page on that, dude. Because like, I don't mean to cut you off, but oh, like, okay. I think we all know like the part that was kind of like a like a turning moment in this film. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure we all are aware of the exact part that kind of turned our like engaged behavior into just kind of like. Oh, okay. oh yeah. because yeah. like the I hate it because like it just did it. It kept reminding me it was a movie. It, yeah. it was just like I don't feel like these are like real thing character moments yeah. and character actions that people would do. It didn't give me any of the attention that I that I was seeking and craving. And we'll definitely talk more in depth about this in yeah. our spoiler section. So don't worry. Just let us talk about it. You know, in in general, and then we'll get to exactly what we're talking about once we're done. You know, giving our general thoughts, but. Right. But I, I definitely I am there with you because that was one of my main issues with the film is that, you know, it started great. Um, mm-hmm. I liked the way the score was used at first. Yeah, same at, here. And I even like the opening shot of the film. Like the opening oh. shot of the film, um, you know, I won't give it away, but... Wait, I, I guess in the opening shot of the film, but the opening I title. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. The, the opening text title yeah. of the film. I was like, wow. Yeah, this like, is like very artsy, yeah, isn't it? Like, I was like... Dang, he's like, you know, Jordan Peele's actually forcing uh, a, a casual audience to be patient here with exactly. this opening shot. And I was like, I'm really impressed that Jordan Peele went this direction with this because, like, it immersed me. And I was like, wow, this is definitely more of a different approach than Get Out. I'm really enjoying what he's showing here. Then once the second act kicks in with, you know, obviously the the doubles of the family, um, the way that was approached... Um, it just, it definitely yes. took me out. It yes. definitely took me out. I it, it, def- agree. it reminded me definitely, like Eric said, that I was watching a movie. And from there on, the entire second act, I felt like I was watching an artificial ass movie. Like it didn't mm-hmm. feel like I was immersed into any kind of real world. I agree. And it really just took away from any of the suspense or scares that he was trying to do. And, you know, one, one thing that I'll give the film is that I think it did better at suspense building. And I also think that, you know, to move in more into the positives, is that Jordan Peele definitely has more of an authentic visual style in this film for in terms of his camera work yeah. because there are like at least like three or four different scenes that I thought wow like the camera work here is much more interesting and oh, much yeah. more engaging um you know com- compared to anything that I saw in Get Out like I was just the thing that I was most impressed by with this film if I had to say anything was Jordan Peele's use of the camera because I thought it was really creative it built suspense and overall, I was just like, wow. Like, I guess I just didn't, I didn't expect for a visual style in this film. And I, I got some of that. So, um, but, you know, to go back to some of the negatives, it just, the, you know, the, the, the second act, it just, it just went in an, in an approach that obviously I'll get into later that it definitely took me out. I don't know how Perry feels about this, but yeah, if, you want, if you want to go ahead and say um, anything, go ahead. I actually liked it a lot more than Get Out. I will say there are... Like I said, I had a lot of tonal issues with the film. There were certain dialogue, like people were being comedic when I felt like they should have been more, oh my God, you know, people are trying to kill us. Mm-hmm. But instead it's like, oh, Winston Duke, I mean, Duke Winston yeah. has to be a fucking comedian the entire film. <laughs> yeah. No matter what, some of the th- lines he was uh, saying legitimately frustrated me. Like at first I liked his character, but the longer the film went on, the less I liked his character the more frustrated i found his character um i I can definitely agree with that like i said the first act like y'all said i agree with y'all the first act was definitely the strongest for me um but the problem is jordan peele needs to improve in terms of writing dialogue because he writes dialogue that i felt was very unnatural in the moment like people wouldn't talk like this if someone's trying to kill them this is why i can see why y'all say it feels like an artificial ass movie yeah i can totally uh i can totally sense that but there are certain aspects of this film that i really enjoyed i know y'all weren't crazy about like the third act no, I did like the th- I like the climax of the movie a lot. Yeah. But the the inspirations I saw go into this film, like I saw some Twilight Zone, I even saw some Black Swan in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can I'm see sure that. y'all can, yeah, see, I can that. see that. Yeah. Yeah. And like the whole that aspect of it, I really liked. I liked the fact that it felt like a Twilight Zone episode. But at the same time, a lot of the dialogue and, like you said, character decision really took me out of the movie. It was like, it's so frustrating because it's such a mixed bag. Like y'all said, 
they'll do something. It's like, oh, man, just do more of that. Do more of that. Mm -hmm. And then next second, it's like, why'd you have to say that? Mm -hmm. Why are you acting like this in this really intense situation? Yeah. Um, I will say the biggest positive I can say about the film is the score. Because y'all know I love the score. I legitimately love the score. Uh, I like a lot of the score. Yeah, I think it's great. And I love how y'all were talking about the opening title. Yeah. You know how in the score you actually hear, like, kids singing, like, at a church choir? I love that. It reminds yeah. me of, like, Rosemary's Baby mm -hmm. and yeah. The Omen, you know, old-time school horror. You know, I really dug that. Yeah, with, with the... No, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, you go ahead, man. Well, that's the thing. When the score was, like, being, like, a little, like... When it was having a personality and being used in, like, very creative moments... Yes. It would... Uh, that's when it would engage me, but... To try not to spoil, yeah, like, what the events of the movie... Yeah. But basically, when, when we're, like, first, like, being introduced to the, obviously, the opposite side of the family, the, the, the opposition to the characters... Yeah. Uh, they would use that very, very cliche violin... That is just like oh, aggravated yeah. me. I can see that. Because it's just like, okay, now you're supposed to be scared. Here's some like standard violin that you would oh, find yeah. for any schlock horror movie. I'm just like, are you serious? Yeah, like, and that was one issue that I have with Get Out too, where they just have that cliche of use of the violin. And I'm like, why is oh, that yeah. really here? Like, it doesn't really need to be here. It's just a very cliche, obvious use of, you know, a uh, musical instrument that mm. a lot of horror movies just throw in there because, oh, it sounds creepy. Just put it in there. Yeah, I and, can see that. And the score, you know, it's just like, I liked the, okay, like you mentioned, the the title sequence where it had the choir music. That's where I actually liked the use of the score the most, was in the opening title Same sequence. Here. Because no, with for that, me it was the climax, actually. Well, the, the because the, the thing is, the, 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 the film reuses that score, that mm -hmm. same melody throughout the film. I liked and that a lot. Personally. I liked it, but there was times where I just thought, like, it didn't, for me, it just didn't work. Like, there was times where, like, okay, it just feels like you're just really trying to make this, a, like, a, a musical theme of your film, but it just didn't feel like it fit the exact moment that it was going for. Mm -hmm. I liked the opening title one, and I liked maybe another use of it, but there was some where it was in it, and I was just like... It just this didn't really need to be here. I would have actually preferred maybe a different use of score to to really give this scene more of the impact that it was going for. But yeah, I see what you mean. It, yeah. For the most part, all of that all of that worked. It was just for me, like when it was just like going by the number horror movie cliche. Like, oh, this is a horror movie. Like, aren't you supposed? To, aren't you scared? It's like no. Yeah. No, I like it when he like tried to make his movie have more of a personality. By yeah. throwing in like his very interesting use of that score, and then also the camera work. There was times where the camera work I was like, "Oh, he's throwing his own little style here," and I really enjoyed it because yeah. it, it really gave the film, you know, more of like a, a a genuine feel, and it didn't feel like you're just kind of normal generic Hollywood type stuff. And you know, one criticism that I have of this film and kind of like Jordan Peele's films in general, I don't know if he's like intentionally doing this or if this is just the kind of filmmaker he is, but it just seems like. His films are these really, like, relatable pieces of filmmaking, and that's fine if you want to relate to, you know, a more of a, more of a, you know, bigger audience, but, you know, for people like me, Yeah, it feels you know, like he's compromising. Yeah. yeah I if, hate it. Yeah. I hate that so like, much. Like, if, I mean, again, like, I'm not sure if that is the case, like, maybe this is just what he absolutely wants to do 100%, and these are the kind of movies he wants to make, but at the same time, it just feels like he is kind of compromising to kind of reach a more broad spectrum of people. And that takes me out because, you know, it all comes down to the writing of the dialogue in terms of explaining things. Oh, my God, this film explains a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like, it, yeah it, it hardly left anything ambiguous, which really annoyed me. There's one kind of thing that it leaves that it, it kind of leaves up to, you know, up, 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 I'm sorry, up to the viewer to decide. But there's most of it, like in terms of like what happens in the story. There's nothing really ambiguous about it. It's very upfront with, oh, yeah. with, with you know. It's with, very upfront with its themes, for yeah. sure. Oh. Yeah. Um, so that's that's kind of one criticism that I have of it. And it's kind of a big criticism because that was, I, that was one huge criticism that I had with Get Out was that it just told you way too much what it was going for. Right. And this one kind of falls into that same kind of issue where it's just like, Oh my god, I get it. Like you don't have first of all, you don't have to show me this entire sequence cuz you already hinted at it visually already like from the first few seconds of it. Like I get your reveal. I get it. You don't have to keep going with it and keep like hammering it, you know, the, the this whole idea in, into the audience's head. Like we all get what you're going for. You don't have to keep going with it. And then also with its dialogue and its writing, 
you know, there's a sequence where, like, one of the villain characters just completely goes on this really long monologue about, like, the whole backstory behind them, and it was just like, you just, like, in the middle of it, you just, you kind of lose interest a little bit, at least for me, like, I was, I was trying to pay attention to everything, but it was one of those movie moments where I'm just like, I'm not as interested or as unsettled as this film wants me yeah, to be. That, yeah, it's kind of my... It's kind of the same deal with me. Yeah. I feel like I was less more, like... For me, the biggest problem with the movie is just that I just didn't feel the tension. I was like, wow, I'm not getting into this, like, at all. Mm -hmm. Like I did with the first act, because I, I really like the first act of this movie. I'm not going to spoil anything, but, like, you know, we... We get a we get like a setup for what's to happen later in the film. I love the setup, and it oh, was yeah. it was great setup. Yeah, yeah it was I love legitimately the setup. Legitimately awesome. Yeah, but I will say I like Get Out. I found this film extremely predictable. Like there were some parts I, that were predictable. I for knew sure. like exactly. Yeah. It was kind of like frustrating, and it was kind of frustrating as much as I enjoyed the film, which it, really wasn't that much because I knew the entire time where this film was going. It's like. It's like, is it me or is it just, you know, I just know I've watched films too long. I know all the plots. Yeah. I know how to predict the endings of films. But like I said, this film was extremely transparent in terms of what it, where it was going. Even like the third act reveal. <laughs> it has a twist. We're obviously not going to say what the yeah. twist is, but I'm just like, that didn't really add anything yeah. to for me. You, you, you're, you're talking about the big twist at the end, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you know, the big twist in the third act, like, it's just like... First of all, like, I kind of guessed that in the beginning, oh, and, yeah. and I wasn't, like, for sure about it, but it was in my mind. Like, it was, like, definitely, like, that's definitely a possibility of, of what's happening, and it turned out that that was, that's what the film chose to go with in the end. And like Perry said, it kind of sucks when you're able to predict a movie in that way. And, you know, like I said, I wasn't sure, like, I wasn't sold on it. I've seen so many movies do it that I was just like, oh, come on, they're not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? And then it's like, oh, we're gonna do it, and I'm like, oh. And oh. yeah, it, is, it didn't really add... I mean, I guess it added something to the movie. <laughs> I, I guess, in a way. But... I wasn't a huge fan of it, personally. And, also, and honestly, I think it has a lot to do with the way it was revealed. Because, like, the way it was revealed, again, it was kind of the thing. I was just kind of like, okay, I, I, I get I it. Yeah, I didn't like the way it was revealed. Right. It's it, like, I, I was like, I totally get it. You don't have to go down this road and spend so much time on it. We got it from the very first hint that you said it. But go ahead, Perry. Um, I will say, going back to the positives, yeah. uh, Lapita, oh, yeah. uh, Lapita Nyong'o, I think that's how you pronounce it. Is that her the name. main actress? Yeah. yeah. She did a fantastic Oh, yeah. She was great. She was great. I just wish she was given better dialogue I to do work too. with. You yeah. Know? Uh, you know, it's like I could see her, like, getting nominated. I don't – it's too early in the year, like, where I want – whether I want her to win yeah. or not. But if she gets nominated, I'll be fine with that because, to be honest, she gave the best performance in the movie. Although, yeah, I, I will say my favorite character was the boy, the little kid. Yeah. He was my favorite character no, in the film. She was my favorite character, personally. I thought she was really great i mean a, uh, performance wise if lupita gets nominated i mean i won't have a problem with it but i will be kind of fucking pissed off because tony collette oh, oh yeah tony collette tony, tony collette. collette i mean that's the big elephant in the room yeah, why yeah. why would you nominate lupita and then not nominate tony collette i mean don't get yeah. me wrong lupita's performance in this film yeah, I really is pretty good personally. it's really impressive but honestly like if i'm comparing actresses here like that performance from tony collette was just I don't know. That one definitely got me on a more deeper level. That one was just. Oh, I agree with you. Of oh course, yeah. I much per, uh, like as a performance, Tony Collette just like. Yeah. It's a performance of a lifetime. Honestly. Yeah. So, that's you know I I wouldn't be against her being nominated, but at the same time I would just be really frustrated. Yeah, I think a lot of yeah. people would. I don't think you'd be alone in that. So, well, all right. Uh, Can we, I just say one more thing? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, this is, I mean, this isn't really like saying anything about the movie. It's just about how much I enjoy it. Okay. Uh, uh, I actually, I, I feel like I like Get Out more than these two because I, I think Get Out's a good movie. With this movie, I'm kind of holding reservations. So I, I prefer Get Out. I'm just going to have to say I actually like Get Out more. Interesting. So, oh. Yeah. And I, I went into this movie thinking I was going to like Us more because I'm not huge on Get Out. I thought, I think it's good. But I don't think it's a masterpiece or anything. I will reiterate: do not go into this film with all the hype behind it. Yeah, go in there with reasonable expectations, yep. and maybe you'll enjoy it. I've seen a commercial that, like, in bold text, was like, "This is the best horror film of all <laughs> oh, time." God, laughable. Don't laughable. ever think that going no. into this movie, like, at all. 
I saw a, a critic review saying that Jordan Peele is the next is the next Hitchcock. I'm gonna kill that guy. Don't ever <laughs> said that. Listen I'm to that kill shit him. at all because it's just gonna overhype it for you. You're gonna think it's gonna be some sort of masterpiece when, in my opinion, it's not. I don't think this movie's bad. I, I or terrible or anything. I just there's a lot. I just of, think it's, opportunities. Yeah, I just think it's <laughs> it's decent. Like yeah. it's like it's, yeah, okay. it's okay. Like yeah. that's exactly what I was thinking. You know, it's got some things in it where I was like that was done well, but there's just a lot of things in it that again, like I wasn't fully immersed in this movie and I wasn't fully immersed for a long period of time and that's a problem. Like like for the almost the entire second act, I was just like oh, like I was really frustrated I because I really wanted to be immersed in this film and honestly like a lot of people in the theater, they were laughing at a lot of the stuff that's supposed to be scary. But I thought about that, but they do that with everything. They yeah, yeah. do that with everything. It's nerves, that's you true. know? It's nerves. It's it's yeah. like a natural reaction. You get really nervous, you just kind of laugh it off. True. Well, no, they literally do it like, haha, Tony Collette's making funny face. I laugh at that. <laughs> oh, ha-ha. yeah. True, but the thing is, like, they didn't do that much with Get Out when oh. I went to go see it. Oh, yeah. Really? They, didn't, they didn't treat it like it was remember. funny. But I mean, unless it, it was the TSA agent, they yeah, laughed it, at it, everything. Yeah, that he did. at least that's intentional comedic relief. Yeah. Um, I guess. But anyway, okay. So it's been like twenty minutes at this point. <laughs> yeah, we got to give our we, scores. Yeah, we talked about we we've talked about it enough in a non spoiler way. So we're gonna give our scores really quick, and then we'll go into the spoiler segment. But um, all right, I guess I'll just go first. Um, so this movie for me was kind of a mixed bag. I personally. Would I think this is a slight step up from Get Out, in my opinion. I don't think it's obviously like a masterpiece. It's okay, like we said. There's things in it that's definitely, you know, really impressive. And I think is a step up from Get Out in terms of camera work, um, in terms of acting even, um, in terms of thematic conveyance. I think those things are definitely better from Get Out, but there is writing issues with it like i said that kind of drag it down i felt like i was watching a movie for a lot of the time Mm -hmm. um tonal issues and the third act reveal just i don't know it didn't it wasn't as clever or as or as surprising as i think it wanted it to be and it just showed way too much too it just kind of hit you over the head with it i'm like i get it so it wasn't a terrible film i think it was decent so i'm gonna give us a i'll give us a 6.5 out of 10 that's my grade for it. He wants to, go, wants next. to go next. Eric, please, please okay. go. Okay. Well, okay. I remember when, because I'm going to like ramble on before I can wait. Fucking. Okay. No, no, I did too. So go ahead. So I remember when I saw the US trailer, I was like, wow, this looks fucking awesome. This looks great. I'm all in it because I just like the idea. I like the idea of, you know, the, the cool like robes that they wear with the scissors all like attacking them. I just, he could have done a lot of interesting things. Jordan Peele with the, with the script, with his direction but when it really came down to all like the horror suspenseful moments it was just very very missed Uh, but when he like took extra steps to be a little artistic that was really cool yeah and then the camera work was when he like wanted to show off his like i mean he didn't do the cinematography but you know he directed it yeah when he had a good eye he had a really good eye for, for all that but anyways Overall, I'm pretty disappointed with this movie, sadly, and I'll give it a 6 out of 10. So it's still technically fresh. Technically. Yeah. <laughs> technically. Uh, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's an okay movie. Um, I will say on repeat, it's not like Climax where on repeated views, I'm going to appreciate it more. I feel like the more I watch this film, the more it's going to bug me. Like the negatives are going to become even more negative. But for the time being, I'm going to give it a 7.2. Four out of ten. Nice. So the so, most positive in the yeah, car. <laughs> yeah, and we have a nice kind of like a nice like mixed bag this time. Yeah, uh, on climax we were all like across the board. Yeah, yeah. an amazement. And for those who haven't watched our climax review, check that out. Please do. Um, we all love that movie, by the way. Oh, Spoiler yeah. alert: We all love that fucking movie. <laughs> um, so yeah, we all gave our grades. So let's go ahead and get it. Let's go ahead and get into some spoilers here. Okay. Um. So, what do you guys want to talk about? I guess I'll do the same thing with Climax. What's your, your biggest... What about the ending? Okay. Like, like yeah. not the very ending, but, like, the, the whole Climax. The whole... Uh, climax. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so, the whole ending is revealed that Lupita's character was actually the doppelganger the whole time because the... the 
the doppelganger switched, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. that's what it was implying, that, yeah. that it was never really her in the first place. Yeah. Which I predicted in the first 10 minutes of the movie. Yeah. I, I honestly exactly. didn't predict it because I just didn't think the film would go there. Yeah. Oh, uh, it did not surprise when it went there. I'm like, of course, Jordan Peele movie is yeah. gonna go there. Um, so the fact that the film went down that road, like we said, like it wasn't, like it's not like it was terrible. It's just it didn't, de- it definitely didn't hit. Um, I think the way that that it wanted to, and I know a lot of people might disagree with that and say, oh no, I was I was surprised and I thought it was great, but um, just that third act reveal wasn't that that clever. But one thing that I will say is that in the third act. Um, it kind of like cross cuts between Lupita's character and her younger character yeah. doing ballet. Yeah. And I thought like that artistic choice I of like cross cutting was interesting. And yeah. I was like, oh, I like that. I like the fight scene between oh, them. Oh, yeah. I yeah. like how it was like choreographed like a dance, like you said. Yeah. Uh, it reminded me of Black Swan, which is why I said that. Yeah, I, I figured that's why you, you said that. So, yeah, in terms of that, like I thought, like, wow, that's good. And, you know, it's just. You wish that maybe the film were to convey things that way more of the time. Right. Because this film, I guess we'll get into the second act, because this is where shit kind of starts going downhill for me and Eric. For me, yeah, yeah. So, the doppelganger family starts coming in, and, you know, once they get out, which was fine. The break-in, I think, was Yeah, the very first great. break-in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, this, you know, in terms of camera work, in terms of sound design, in terms of acting, mm-hmm. I thought the entire break-in was filmed really well. Um, it's just when Lupita's character comes in... And then she starts explaining this Lupita's entire. Not, I mean, you know, like the other version of her. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, Lupita's villain doppelganger starts just going on this long expositional monologue about like their their kind of backstory, this kind of like metaphorical backstory that they have, and she uses this voice and the way that she talks and the way that she delivers the lines Mm -hmm. and just the lines itself and just the direction of all of it you know that's where the film started kind of sinking for me exactly same here because again like that's one of those moments where the way that it's directed and the way that it was written seemed like a movie and it just seemed a little lazy to me like it just seemed like wow you couldn't convey this in any other way besides having the villain character dispel every everything out in his voice I don't know. It just seemed like I don't know. It seemed kind of rookie, and I was like, and almost like it was like you're watching a comic book film. You know how they start monologuing, like the villain starts explaining everything. Yeah, that's no, almost no what it felt like to me. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't watch a lot of comic book films anymore, so I, I don't know. But all I know is that superhero movies definitely have a lot of issues when it comes to just explaining stuff. But yeah, it's, you know, I, I'm pretty sure Eric. That's the same. That's, I'm pretty sure that's the same thing he was he was trying to talk about earlier. No, yeah, I completely agree. I think um, when they like get sat down with each other, it just like I was wondering. I was like, okay, where are we gonna go from here? It could be very interesting, but no, it kind of like deflated everything. Like it kind of suffered from the whole like horror movie of just like just kill them. Like, isn't that the purpose? Like, don't are you gonna teach them a lesson? Are you gonna lecture them? Yeah. Or are you gonna like assassinate them? Like, right. like it seems to be happening to like how the townspeople. Like, you know what bugged the heck out of me? I'm sorry, go ahead. I'll, I'll just wrap it up. Like, uh, everybody in the townspeople is just getting slaughtered to death. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then there's, like, so many moments where they could just easily be killed, but they're, they're, it looks like they're just playing games with each other. Right. Yeah. You know what really bothered me? Mm-hmm. We're Americans. It's like, okay, yeah, oh, way yeah. to spoon feed the audience. Yeah. Very spoon fed. <laughs> Don't yeah. let us draw any bridges. Don't try to make <laughs> us think, oh, maybe he's comparing them to Americans. Just say, we're Americans. Like, because she's like, what are you? And then you know, she's, she's like, like oh. she's like, she goes, we're Americans. <laughs> oh, that really frustrated me. Yeah, that was like, oh no. Yeah. How are you gonna bridge this gap? Yeah, and it's yeah, and that's that's kind of where it goes downhill, and then. You know, Tim Heidecker is in this movie, which surprised the hell out of me. Tim Heidecker, he's on the um, uh, Tim and Eric show. Mm. Um, for those who don't know what that is, it's I've a hel- seen it. it's a hilarious like avant garde like comedy trippy ass show. I think it's awesome. But who was he in the movie? He was the, the douchebag. Okay, I thought so. Yeah, the <laughs> the douchebag husband, the biggest douchebag you've ever seen in your life. Oh yeah, yeah, he was him, and um, the. Again, like, that was a point of the movie because basically what happens is the white family that's kind of like their friends, they also, it's revealed that they also have their own doppelgangers and the whole world basically has their own doppelgangers, I guess. 
Um, I don't know if it's the whole world or just the city. That's what it made it seem like. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure it's the whole, or just America maybe. I don't know. And um, so once that starts coming in and their and their family starts getting attacked, again, it just seemed like it was kind of fun, I guess. Like it was yeah, fun. I actually, I much prefer that sequence than yeah. the original sequence. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like it was, it was fun. Um, but for me, like once, like once the white family got killed and like, uh, Tim Heidecker's us, you know, villain. It was just so comical. Like it was yeah, hilarious. Right. Like it was just kind of like I was like, wow, this is not working. Yeah, like it's not like and 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 even like you know the um um the uh, husband of uh, Lupita, Lupita. What's his name? Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, you're thinking of Duke, uh, Winston Duke. Winston Duke. That's his name. Uh, his doppelganger was a, again like kind of comedic. Oh yeah. Like his yelling, I was oh, like, yeah. "What yeah. is that?" There was that moment where they were like yelling across like a uh, the lake. Know, the oh god, that was yeah. laughable. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh god, this is not this yeah. is not doing it any favor." And I'm just confused. I'm like, "Am I supposed to laugh at this, or am I supposed to be scared by this?" But I'm not doing either. So like, you know what really annoyed me is when Tim Heidecker's doppelganger had Winston Duke like trapped trap. on the boat yeah. in the corner, and there's like. You, it, the camera pans away. It's like, oh, he had him cornered, but Winston yeah. Duke defeated he did him. Something. He got it yeah. out of there. I mean, yeah. I like the way they were shot from far away because there was like a red light coming from there. Yeah. And the way that you could see them struggling. Like, I thought that was filmed well. But he had him, you know, like balls to the wall. Yeah. Like, in the fucking but it, corner. It, it's just like kind of like a plausibility problem. Like, right. just like exactly. I don't know if he would have gotten out of that. Right. Um, um. But yeah, so. Yeah, and then, you know, the. I think that the song, you know, I got five on it. I think that it was oh. incorporated. I kind of like the way it was incorporated. well enough, like yeah. in the third act, like it, it used it because I was worried, like how, like halfway through the movie, because I was like, I hope that they use a song and they and they utilize it in a good way. And luckily, like in the third act, it does use it in a way that you're like, okay, I I dig it. Enough. It was the most appropriate one because yeah, even okay, even though there was that fuck the police one, I it's funny, but I it, it bugs me in a horror movie. Yeah, exactly. It, it goes back to what I was saying. Don't cut the tension of a horror film with comedy. Halloween yeah. total. Yeah, yeah, Halloween yeah, the remake did that. Halloween. Yeah, it's the, it's the, a the remake. Sorry. I mean, it's. I don't know, like, it's fine to have comedy in, in your horror, I guess, if you're going for, like, a horror comedy, but just for me, Not like... Not when their fucking lives are immediately right. at yeah. Maybe for, like, character breaks, like, oh. in between scenes of tension. Right, yeah. and when they were escaping, you know, their do evil doppelganger, doppel excuse me, doppelgangers, okay. <laughs> yeah. they were arguing over who was going to drive the fucking car. That yeah. annoyed the hell out of me. Oh, I totally agree. They're like, oh, yeah, I killed them, and she killed oh, them. Oh, I, I got them. a higher kill count than yeah. you really? do. Like, like, Jesus Christ. It's like, you yeah. do realize that, you know, you can be fucking, like, assassinated by basically at right you realize point. your lives are at stake write that jordan peele write the fact that their lives are at stake like yeah. it felt th that moment felt like it was just like a like a fucking Shaun of the dead like uh comedy zombie film yeah it felt like a sitcom to me almost it felt like i was watching a fucking <laughs> sitcom yeah. It just didn't feel realistic. I mean, I'm no, not, not. I'm not trying all. to be a fucking like bummer and give this movie shit at every turn, but it really just it didn't give me any tension that I wanted. Yeah, it's just again, it goes back to the problem that we, you know, most of us just weren't really immersed into this film in the way that we wanted to. I don't know about Perry, but like definitely me and Eric were just were not immersed into this film at least I, for the at least for the, the second first act. act. But the second act, yeah. No. First um, act was like fully into it. Second act pretty much lost me the whole time, and then the third act I kind of got back into it again. Yeah, but still same not, here. but still not fully like, yeah. not not in love with it. Still, just kind of like because okay, of I guess the I'm there. Because the problems it already had, I'm like okay, like if if you kind of kept this consistency, I probably would really like this film. Yeah. Um, I love the first act, but I wasn't like completely down on the second act. But it was just like in and out, in and out of, mm -hmm. of in terms of immersion, because yeah. there was moments like I said, like. The film does something so right, and then it fucks it up with some cheesy dialogue or some unrealistic writing. Yeah, and then that's kind of another thing on top of, like, the whole, like, Lupita talking and the whole, like, doppelganger thing. Like, some of it just came off cheesy. Like, oh, some of yeah. it was just kind of like, I'm not unsettled by this at all. It just yeah. comes off really just cheesy, and I'm not into this. And, you know, I don't know how, I don't really, I'm really not sure how everyone else is going to feel. So people might be like, oh, no, that was just so creepy for me, but... I feel I was feeling bad throughout this movie. I'm like, am I just being too harsh? Am I like yeah. really just like trying? Because I I didn't try to not enjoy the film. I well, the thing is, you tried really hard. Yeah, like 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 what you know, Eric. He 
he you know enjoyed Get Out much much more than than me and Perry. Oh So yeah, like the like fact that he's coming out of it like you know liking it less you know should say a lot because he should actually be the one coming out of it probably I loving it more. I wanted to like it a lot honestly. So that I mean that says something. I mean you know we're not we, we don't want you to walk away from this review thinking that it's bad it's terrible. No it's not. A it's bad definitely movie. not bad. It's not shit. It's not terrible but. Um, I just it's wish not great Jordan either. Peele yeah. just get his like tone together. Oh and yeah, just, like and like stick to something. If you want to make a fucking comedy or something, or a dumb bar, because you know sometimes it felt like very smart of a movie, and then it would just be deflated by something that you would find in like just a I don't know adult swim sketch or something. Yeah, right. I feel like Jordan Peele would be more suited to writing like horror comedy because that's yeah. what I think he wants to do. You know, like Tucker and Dale versus Evil. They yeah. live. But this movie has an important of... message. Like it's trying to tell an yeah. important message. Yeah, but like I said, I think he'd be more suited for like horror comedy because when it terms to just like straight horror films, it's like he puts way too much comedy in there and he yeah. just kills the mood of the film. Yeah, I mean, if you're like an expert at it, like if you're like a, if you're like some, God damn it, this camera keeps falling on me. <laughs> um, hold on, I'll just, I'll just do this for now real quick. <laughs> um, I will. Oh God. no, no, go ahead, Perry. Go ahead, keep talking. I will say, remember how I was yeah. comparing it to the Twilight Zone? Yeah. Because this entire film's inspired by a Twilight Zone episode. This woman. You see, I don't watch enough Twilight Zone I've for me to, yeah, for me to like episode. really be like, yeah, I agree with that. This woman sees a mirror image of herself at a bus station, yeah, and basically, at they, she thinks she's going crazy, yeah. But right. at the end of the episode, um, the mirror like image is the one that gets on the bus, even though it's her evil doppelganger, yeah. And then the guy that doesn't believe her finds out he has a doppelganger too. Oh, okay. That's why I said this film reminded me a lot of a Twilight Zone episode. Kind of reminded me of the end of. A Annihilation. Dude, me too. Oh, yeah. I can me see too. that. I can see that. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, the third eye definitely reminded me of that, like 100%. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, man. This shit doesn't want to stay up. So, uh, yeah, so I totally agree with that. I was like, this is another kind of like doppelganger. And, and that, that was one of my concerns going into it because anybody who watched my, my trailer reaction for this, I got a lot of shit for that, by the way. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> w- one of my main critiques was like, you know, it's not the most original concept, and I was it's worried not. about that. And, you know, it's okay. You can but take... But you could have still done a lot with it. Exactly. Right. Like, even though it's not the most refreshing, you can still do things with it that's really captivating. And I feel like it did do some things that was like, okay, I like it. But at the same time, it, it kind of goes down the road that you would expect it, at least for a, a movie about, like, doppelgangers and stuff like that. Yeah. But, um, um anything else y'all want to add? We're, we're, at, we're at 37 minutes. Uh the last thing i'll say Mm -hmm. which is not a it's honestly not a huge thing uh that scene where uh lupita was fighting fighting off the the mother the wife you know yeah her friend the doppelganger version of her because she like comes back yeah and then she like finish him finishes her yeah i i like that fight scene because it actually felt like there was some tension and like like you know her life was at stake yeah so that's I'm just giving an example that like it's not like every single moment of like horror was bad like when he committed to the stakes of the film I I, I enjoyed it I got like shivers or you know like goosebumps on yeah. my arm but before that I was like wow yeah yeah <laughs> cliches no I, I I totally agree like there's like you know before you you know I, one thing that I want everybody to take away from from watching this review is that this film is not bad it's not terrible it's not shit we're just saying that it's got some good things and Mm -hmm. it's got some bad things and those you know good things that we can mostly all agree on camera work sound design uh at least some some uses of score yeah i I would say most uses of the score yeah most of the score was done pretty good um there's things about this movie that are good it's just you know there's not there's definitely tons of things about this film that are worth criticizing and are definitely there that at least took me out of the film and, mm-hmm. and, and took, you know, some of us out of the film as well. So it's, you know, in, in terms of horror films goes, like, it's not a bad horror film. It's, it's just, it's decent. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sorry about the camera moving everywhere. My mount's acting like a piece of shit. So. It's definitely better than most mainstream horror films nowadays. I will give it that. Because, uh, it's more ambitious for sure. Oh, yeah, because yeah. a lot of mainstream horror films nowadays, like, I don't even bother. Yeah. I mean, it says a lot, the fact that I even, you know, took the time out to see this film. Yeah. Yeah. I so, know. um, I guess that's all we got to say about it then. 40 minutes strong. Yeah, 40 minutes strong. Um, 
I'm sorry that you know we didn't love it. I'm pretty sure a lot of YouTube rev YouTube reviewers are absolutely in love with this film, uh, and that's okay. If you love it, you love it. That's fine. But you know, we're just trying to give you guys a more honest opinion about this. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, this is and there's definitely there's somebody here that really liked Get Out. Well, not really liked it, but at least liked it and, and enjoyed it. <laughs> I would give it. it a seven out of ten. And yeah. Us, I would give a six out of ten. So, but I will say I did enjoy this movie a bit better than Get Out. It didn't Same. frustrate me as much as Get Out, but it definitely still kind of frustrated me in a lot of different ways. I kind of had a blast watching Get Out because I didn't take it so seriously. And I was like, okay, this is fun. But I didn't feel like Us could be enjoyed uh, as just a fun ride when he wanted to like throw in some like very very serious topics in the mix. Like, and A lot of serious like social commentary topics and shit, so. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, if you really enjoyed what we had to say about it, you know, show us some love. Give it a like. Yeah, subscribe uh, to the Misfit Bond. Yeah, sub to my channel, please. That would be awesome. Um, you know, the channel's got a lot of honest reviews. If you want to see, like, you know, we're more, you know, more like genuine reviews that you know are are you know trying to give the film a more like you know honest take on it i know i'm saying the word honest a lot but um i guess i personally find that on youtube sometimes people do get really caught up on being validated and getting yeah. caught up in the hype and sometimes you just can't find any more people like giving the film an honest take um if you guys want to watch stuff that's like that i th i think i i try to do a good job at that so um, there's that. Uh, we also have a we also have a movie a movie review out for Climax as well. Um, all three of us. So if you mm -hmm. really liked, you know, the little trio that we got going on, if yep. you want to hear that for Climax, please click on that video, which will be at the end of this. I'm pretty sure y'all guys will enjoy it. But uh, yeah, I guess that's it. That's all yeah. I got to say. Just Carlos, Eric, Perry. Uh, maybe we'll see you guys next time for the next big film. So for another big review. Oh yep. yeah. All right. Bye. See ya. Bye.